all of us are here in order to strengthen our relationship with the Lord, with God. And yet how things will be easier if we see things in the perspective of God. And yet that's not easy. It's quite difficult. God is God. We are human. And so sometimes we have some tough time seeing things the way God sees them. And yet God sometimes sends us some eye openers so that we could understand, accept His ways. And so today's readings are eye openers. Tobiah returns to a dying mother and a sick father. Jesus turns the wisdom of the teachers of the law upside down, declaring that the Messiah is the son of David. The listening crowd is thrilled. These intimate encounters affirm that God loves one-on-one -on -one relationships. First, Tobiah heals with a human touch, with a face-to-face -face conversation with his father. Then we see Jesus heal in that same up-close and personal manner, one-on-one. -on -one. Christ usually talked to the person and he often physically touched the person. Why didn't Christ simply wave his hand and heal everyone at once? Why bother with taking it so slowly? Is this Jesus' way of teaching us how to be a good disciple? We very often feel overwhelmed with the problem of our world. The brokenness is huge. We are only one small person. What can we do? It would appear hopeless. Here's our eye-opener. This one-on-one -on -one approach to the kingdom is meant to be slow and steady. Following Christ's example, we can speak a word of encouragement to someone who is struggling in finding meaning in his faith, to a young person who is confused, just give a listening ear. We can share our faith with someone whose faith is wavering or has many doubts. We can be gently present and hold the hand of someone who is grieving. Nothing perhaps can comfort the person and yet be in there. Just being present, sharing the grief will mean a lot to the person who is grieving. We can pray for someone who is ill. We can smile more often. We know how a smile has a magic touch. So God asks us to be little miracle workers, but step by step. When Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta was still living, somebody from the media approached her and asked what she could do with all the suffering people in the world. She simply said, one at a time. So we ask the Lord to continue to enlighten us, to give us that fire of charity in our hearts that will enable us to reach out to every person we meet in order to uplift the person. Perhaps God is using you as an eye-opener for others. Amen.